You know, the colors sometimes start off being arbitrary. Often, I'll think that everything works nice and it looks good, and it'll probably last about a day, maybe a week. And then I'll start looking at it and seeing that, you know, it's superficial or I need to keep working uh, what's happening to make it more interesting. But every time I put a new color down, it, it uh, transforms and it will dictate what the next color, the next brush stroke is going to be. You have to be able to uh, enjoy all of the painting, not just one area. So sometimes if an image is not working, it might be whole half of it or it's unbalanced or it looks top heavy. You gotta keep playing and, and developing. It's almost like a self-portrait. Every brush stroke on the board or any color you threw down is a reflection of what your physical movement is, so it is a representation of my arm movements or how I'm feeling, how I express it on the board. But it's real in and of itself. It's, it's independent on its own. It doesn't have to reference anything in reality. I just I use the containers actually as a springboard to start the work. In the end, if I abstract it so much that you can't recognize anything in it, that's fine with me as long as the work, as the piece works on its own. You know, in the end, even if you're painting something realistic, it's still just paint on, on a canvas or on a board, so I am painting reality. Painting is real. <laughs>